Growing old is what is expected with the passing of time. Many people spend countless hours working and saving money to try and safeguard a dignified lifestyle when they reach the retirement age or when they are no longer fully capable of taking care of themselves. But what happens to those who don't have the means to safeguard that future? What happens to those who once formed a crucial part of society but no longer have family members who are present or willing to ensure a good life for them in their golden years? This is the reality of many elderly persons in Belize. After doing an initial visit to the Sister Cecilia's home last week, I went back to find out more about the way of life for these elderly people, who make up about 7% of our population. Ivorine Bulwa is the executive director for HelpAge Belize, the parent organization for the Sister Cecilia's home located on Wilson Street in Belize City. Sister Cecilia is a residential home. All right, we have two help age. Under the umbrella of help age, we have 11 branches. Including in that 11 branches, there are two residential homes. Um, one, this here, Sister Cecilia in Belize City, and Octavia Wait in San Ignacio. Very shortly, we should be establishing a home in Belmapan, a residential home in Belmapan. Quite a number of um, or older persons may not have um, anywhere to stay or their loved one may be abroad or you know their family members may be financially challenged and they really cannot um, cope or they don't have the space to facilitate um, their older persons or sometimes their older persons you know just want to be out of their out of their um, residence you find out because at sister cecilia here we have like um four private rooms so it facilitates those who can um pay for those um, rooms all right others um as part of the state we have to facilitate those clients who need care and have nowhere to to stay while the 48 residents who are currently enlisted at the home are provided with meals, sleep accommodations, and laundry services, Bulwa says there is so much more that can be done to give these persons a well-rounded way of life in their senior years. Our vision, we're looking at that spiritual, the physical, the emotional well-being of our older persons. And our mission speak to ensuring that all older persons are empowered and to live a dignified life. Um, currently, I think we are doing the best with what we have. But yes, there, there are room for improvement. We need more community involvement, community participation, because if you look around, we would want to build little gazebos. We would want to have lovely chairs. Um, you know, improvement in the in the environment, the bathrooms, the the living rooms. We just wanted a more a home, a residential home. They don't have a home, but make it really lovely and nice home. At the same time, just across um, the other building there, we are looking forward to do a, a daycare because we have some older persons who, yes, their resident would like to have them at home. But at the same time, you know, they are out working and they are left alone. So that loneliness, you don't use something, you lose it. Some of them, they get lost. And if you're looking at quite a number of our patients, they are dementia, Alzheimer's. Now, if we want to establish that they care, that during the day when their when um, children are out working, they are able to be over at the, uh, the daycare, you know, interacting, chatting, we're having movies movie evenings you know exercise session we provide their their specific meals because quite a number of our older persons have some form of um, medical condition you know so we would want to set up that daycare we would want to improve this environment i think it's a great opportunity for our younger persons to come in because for them to have a better understanding that we go through phases and at some point you are going to get you know, you know you're going to get older and it's also a reflection for them to be prepared for old age, plan for old age. Because you, you look at, at, you know, getting older, 
is critical we prepare for it because there are times we put in and what we put in oftentimes we will get out along the way there may be you know there may be some um, uncertain things or some you know challenging thing that can inter interfere with the quality of life later on but it is so important for a younger person to have an understanding of aging and for them to be prepared for old age for them to be prepared for a quality of life the home was once dubbed the poor house in Belize city some 50 years back and then became sister cecilia's home for the elderly almost 30 years ago under the umbrella of help age belize the other branches of Help Age Belize around the country provide meals and hygienic care for those elderly persons who are unable to attend to themselves and who are without family. There are nine branches countrywide. <laughs> Reporting for Love News, I am Renee Trujillo.